right guys what is up welcome back to another borderlands 3 video and we're back at it on the hyperion hype train <laughs> uh we're gonna be using the conversions here today obviously this is the dlc for uh actually like it, sh it shoots extra projectiles that then go back in on the target you initially shot so it's you get a lot more bang for your bucks like a times eight is more like a times 20 i think it's more like a times 24 uh, which is pretty pretty nice and uh, obviously gonna be really really devastating obviously if you want to go farm four you gotta go farm uh dr benedict uh over in dlc4 uh which kind of stinks because that dude's annoying uh so keep that in mind but we got the almost actually no we have the exact same build as we used for the uh, reflux video that we uh, recently posted uh literally the exact same hyperion setup all the good jazz i'll run through it real quick though all the basic stuff lead no trace is really good uh, with these low mag Hyperion shotties for sure. Uh, obviously, interplanetary, sh interplanetary shocker is a must. There's no need for two fang. A little bit of uh, second intention, head count, uh, and then hunter's eye. And then we only need to get down to uh, you know Mega Bar and Galactic Shadow, obviously. And obviously, big game with Dangerous Game are always going to be uh, worth that uh, for sure. Uh, here is our stalker tree once again. Uh, pretty still uh, standard. Him machine will uh, still be pretty useful. Uh, with this thing, especially because we'll be going out of fadeaway pretty consistently, which will be pretty nice. And then, you know, obviously, you know, we will have not my circus, so we get some a little bit of pet taunting, which is going to be pretty nice. Oh, and then here we just have uh, agility training just for the uh, extra reload speed. Uh, and then our gamma burst tree, uh, master tree, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's the same exact stuff. He bites helps out with frenzy, which is going to be nice. And then we have the persistence hunter. But uh, yeah, guys, with all that stuff being said and out the way, let's just go ahead and uh, let's get right into the video. All right, y'all, we're here at the Guardian Takedown. We've got our convergence here. Uh, this thing's pretty, pretty good, uh, for sure. It's definitely a real solid shotgun, especially for uh, bossing purposes and all that good stuff. Now, unlike the uh, Reflux, you definitely want to run consec kits with this puppy, uh, just because you're going to get so much extra projectiles out of out of this thing anyways, and it's just going to overall be really good to just amp up your, your damage just that, uh, just that much easier. This thing's really, really, really good. Obviously, you know, you could run things like a Cosmic Stalker or a Stack Bot as well. Uh, but we are going, we're using the uh, the Bounty Hunter, mainly because it's also it's going to provide uh, some good uh, passive bonuses uh, to our, our Conflux, Conflux, Jesus, <laughs> our Convergence. And it's going to just be really good, all that good stuff. I mean, you're seeing the work this thing's puppy's putting in. Now I would probably be using a stack bot if I did have the uh, like the sim a similar role with like at least Hyperion creating one weapon damage or something like that, but I don't. So we are just going to be making do with the uh, bounty hunter for the meantime. Did I just miss all my fate? I did. I just missed all my fadeaway shots. But uh, this dude, this thing is a complete monster. Uh, you do love to see it. Love to see it. You know what I'm saying? And then that guy just suicide and killed himself. What a noob. Dude, I wonder where we're gonna get the six DLC for this game. Um, I hope like if it's another DLC, I would hope they would add like another raid boss. You know, like for the sixth, because that's all we have confirmed is you know this the uh, the fifth and sixth one for the year two. And uh, so you know the the sixth one's got to be it's got to go out with a bang, right? Right? Uh, we'll see though. We'll see. Obviously, we don't have any information or anything on it yet. So I'll assume obviously it'll probably come around sometime in like maybe February to March, sometime around that time. That would make the most sense. That would be right around the uh, six point ha six month halfway point. Yeah, dude, sit down. You're not built for the task. This thing is putting in the mad work, dude. <laughs> this thing's a beast. This thing's a... convergence, man. It, it, it's good. It's good. It's a good shotgun, right? I could, you could argue this is like probably a top three shotgun, top four shotgun. However, I don't think I can put it at number one personally. I do think the reflux is just different. So is the face puncher. Uh, dude, we're gonna need to put on that good old cupper's launch pad real quick. That's definitely not where that artifact goes. <laughs> Let's see, there we go. Luckily, dude, we do have the uh, good old cupper's launch pad. 
uh, for situations like this. Very, very nice, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and put this puppy right back on. Good old Pearl, love to see it. And then now we're big chilling back with our full fadeaway shots. Alright guys, so I guess we're just going ahead and we'll just cut further into the takedown and we'll go into the crystal phase. And then uh, I'll see you guys over there. Alright fellas, we're at the uh, good old crystal phase. Uh, we're going to see what this puppy can do over here, you know what I'm saying. Now, uh, I would definitely obviously say the reflex will perform better in this situation. Obviously, it's a mobbing, shot it's a mobbing shotgun. But, I mean, this thing does have some pretty good single burst capabilities. Uh, single target output damage capabilities, which is very, very nice. Let's go ahead and go right back into a good old fadeaway. I should keep putting in that work. Go ahead, go back into good old fadeaway. This thing is beautiful. Love to see it. Go back into fadeaway. See, now that we have all of our like, all of our uh, kill skills and hunter skills fully going, fully activated, you're seeing this thing is just very, very good. I'm just loving this, man. This thing, this thing is a beast. You love to see it, man. All right, guys. I think it's about that time where we head to the Malawan takedown. And uh, guys, I'll see you guys over there. All right, y'all. We're here at our humble abode, the good old Malawan takedown. We're gonna. We have a, 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 a. We have a corrosive one as well, uh, just specifically when we get to Wotan. But we probably will be rocking the radiation one throughout most of this fight, uh, just because you know uh, cryo will work on everybody, but Wotan. So every enemy that has armor, so yeah, I like it. Let's do it. Let's go back into fade away. You love to see it, dude. You, you, you love to see it, man. Obviously, you know, okay. DLC weapons are obviously going to be generally better than some of the vanilla weapons. Obviously. Which is, you know, it, it should be like that. Unless you're the operator. Then then you're exempt from everything that resembles cool, good, or anything. Anything that brings you joy, that's what the operator is the exact opposite of and what it represents. Pure pain and agony and shit. <laughs> but... For about 95% of the DLC items, they're good. Now, of course, that being said, we obviously do have our our non-DLC weapons that are still amazing. Looking at you, Hellwalker. <laughs> looking at you, Backburner. I'm looking at you, Plague Bear. Looking at you, Reflux. Looking at you, Monarch. You know what I'm saying? You get my point. <laughs> now, obviously, you know, some of those are, like, you know higher like mayhem level weapons like mayhem six and up but i mean you, still still I mean, you my point. you're seeing that dude the convergence man this thing is a fucking monster i love it all right fellas we're at it we're back at it dude we're at the bridge we're gonna we're gonna put this puppy to work man the convergence, bro. It slaps, it wrecks. It's great. It's good. I mean, you're. <laughs> My commentary, bro, it's just, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, I ain't gonna cap. Sometimes I just, I just run out of things to say, talk about. Just because, like, you know, Borderlands do be a little bit dry these days. I, you know, I, I, <laughs> whatever, we're just out here, you know what I'm saying? We're shooting shit every single day. Let's go back into fadeaway. Oh, yeah, dude. I guess we'll just go ahead, fellas. We'll just cut over to, uh, actually, first, first, first. I must kill this fucking, yeah, okay. Well, let's go ahead and cut over to the uh, Wotan, Schmokton, Schmackdown of a century. And I'll see y'all. 
over there. All right, fellas, we are here. We are at the Wotan Smotan Smackdown. Now, this time we do have the corrosive uh, one on, just because, uh, yeah, 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 I mean, you're seeing, we're flag. That's what we do, we just do damage. So flag, this is what flag does. <laughs> we're just, we're, we're just, what can I say? Hyperion shotguns, they're kind of, they're kind of insane. You know, like they're, they've, <laughs> It's, it's just, yeah, dude, it's what Hyperion shotguns do. They're, they're broken. They're, they're busted. They, I think, oh, hell, hey, hey, Wotan, hey, buddy. Oh, damn, you, not, you managed to knock me down. Oh, you're so cool. You're so cool. You're so cool. You're so cool. Good for you, buddy. Yep. Yep. Um, that that is going to uh, just about wrap up the video, guys. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If y'all did enjoy the video, then make sure to drop your load on that like button and subscribe if y'all are new, guys. We do upload daily Borderlands 3 and all that good jazz. Uh, so yeah, real quick though, let's uh, shoot that brain all the way in the distance. Home run hitter, home run hitter, home run hitter. Oh, oh my toes are secret. Get him, get him. That works. Uh, let's go over the setup real quick. So uh, here's the two reflexes that we use both consecutives, you know what I'm saying, I love to see it, love to see it. Cryo plus Ultra was mainly used for the Radiation one. You have the Hunter Seeker, which is, I mean, first of all, Cryo damage is always good. Uh, shock, I mean, we have a lot of ACs. Shock ASC, perfect Hyperion weapon, uh, Bounty Hunter, that you love to see. Good old Pearl. Here's a little Master Tree that we got going on. Some good synergy between He Bites and He Frenzy and all that good jazz. Our Hunter Tree. Got two I do to get to Lactic Shadow. This is how, what I figure are the best points. Two things not needed for shotguns. Mm, who the fuck uses Ambush Predator? <laughs> uh, Stalker Tree. Uh, you love it. You'll see it. You'll see it. Double Capstone. All the good jazz. The machine works pretty well with this thing. Uh, especially since we, we go on inside a fadeaway and all the good jazz. And two in range covers doing all we need. But uh, we definitely want to have that power inside. Uh, and then obviously we got our agility training just because uh, we'll, we will reload this gun a lot and then a little bit of synergy with second intention just helps but uh, yeah guys thank y'all so much for watching my name's Cree, and we'll see y'all on the next one peace out everybody